wasn't it? Right from the beginning, as ever, and that rather poor start for James Thorpe. Yeah, put the cars four abreast on the second row, and further back, they were five abreast, showing off. But a uh, brilliant start from uh, pole position, Alex Bunker, but it was a real case of uh, the driver who got it wrong off the start line, James Thorpe, trying to fight his way back up through the field. And in among the cars with all the grunt, we had the little Lotus Land going brilliantly in the hands of Nigel Greensaw. So Alex Buncombe had the initial advantage with the uh, the car that had say, taken that pole position, and he seemed to be in control in the AC Cobra. Uh, all the time, though, Miles Griffiths was keeping it close in the TVR Griffith right behind. Good battle for third place was all opening up and uh, we sort of saw Murray Shepard in a very high place. And then this separate battle was never quite for the win, but always so close between Ollie Bryant and Nigel Greensill. Yeah, it really chopped and changed. And then they got onto the tail of Bill Shepard, the, the bright orange number 47 AC Cobra. And they were trying to find their way past the AC Cobra there, number seven, getting very, very close in the hands of Saif Hassan to one of the two Jaguar semi-lightweights with which it was racing, car number 111, driven by Richard Mines. They were having plenty to go on. Up front, though, it remained very close. And again, going on board with Nigel Greensall, right on the tail of Ollie Bryant's Porsche 904 Carrera. And up in front, they've got Bill Shepard. They're catching him into the chicane. They go out the chicane, closing all the time on the AC Cobra. Yeah, lots of lovely uh, control from Nigel Greensall with the onboard view as well. We saw the Mustangs having a battle, and that was the moment. That was the moment that Alex Buncombe lost the lead. And thankfully, they all was touched you could see they were very close to hitting each other action stations for miles griffiths and he avoided then a bit of a moment was the liquid on the track it mattered not but brown went william paul in the e side yeah thankfully everybody managed to avoid him uh, it was in an area of track where you get a, a good vision so that was uh, good to see and in the meantime there was the battle to try and get past bill shepherd between these two they were working hard on it i always wondered at one stage whether they could work together to get past the ac cobra even though they were racing against each other so hard yeah the cobra had the grunt they had the handling and then getting a compromise line neil mcfadden going in too tight at st mary's but plenty of runoff he followed the stripes in the grass and rejoined the circuit yeah, did well, kept out of the wall. It's always, if you're going to go off, that's a good place to go off. There's plenty of space to play with. But the victory in the end went to Miles Griffiths, taking victory by 2.0 seconds.